stories show a displacement. When there is displacement, sometimes it's a great barrier to learning. So here, this is a palm tree. The sun is shining. These are the clouds. So she's fishing for her mother water and also thinking about the geography book. This is Pony. She is 13 years old. One morning, she goes to fetch water for her mother. While Pony was at the bow hall, she was thinking about her studies, especially geography, her favorite subject. I'm going for my geography lesson. So cool. <laughs> On her way home, she had a group of men arguing. I can hear some gunshots. Let me hurry home. All of a sudden, her mother came out of the house and told her to escape the conflict. Over the next month, Pony and her mother moved from one place to another. On their journey, Pony recognized places that she heard about at her geography lessons. They reached the POC camp in Juba with other people that had left their homes. They end up living in the POC in Juba. In the drawing, it shows a lot of tents and rubbish all over, no toilets, and the place is so bushy. This is so bad. I wish to go home. When Pony's mother was packing their few belongings to make it feel more homely, she found Pony's geography book. Mom, thanks. Oh, my geography book. When Pony's mother saw that Pony was so excited, she walked around searching for a school. When she was passing by, she realized that there was a school set up for girls like Pony so they can continue their education after being displaced. Mom, thanks for finding me a school. I'm looking forward to my lessons. A week later, Pony has fresh water and he is looking forward to her geography lesson. She is feeling happy in geography class, surrounded by new friends. So I would like to just encourage us to, to study so that we should also be like Pony. Now Pony is a, is a doctor and that is because of education.